Madrid. The time is quarter past 12, sun is shining. So we've got to make our way now to the office and get things planned for this evening. Happy days, see you in a bit. That's it, thank you mate. Okay, we've just arrived at the office, the headquarters. We're just gonna briefly go in and see some of the staff that say hello before we uh, continue our journeys back to the hotel. So if you follow me, we shall see the Spanish family. going behind the scenes. Um, all the organisation, the coordination, uh, the prep for the work tonight. This is my office here. I'll show you guys a look. This is where the governor's gonna go. Happy days. <laughs> Alright, so uh hello everyone uh, let's see. Okay, I'm back here in the hotel room. Now the time is 2.20 Spanish time. I'm starting to feel a bit tired now, but no rest of the weekend. I'm being picked up in 10 minutes to go for lunch at the Bernabal with some clients in Taiwan. Asia who are interested in setting up a football scheme in Taiwan. So uh, we'll be very busy this afternoon. Um, Normally on these visits on my first day, they're very hectic, so I plan my session before I come. So it gives me time just to relax and unwind and get things sorted out, you know. So session for tonight is planned and done. I do 6 to 8.15 theory in the classroom, then 8.30 to 10 o'clock practical. And then we'll go out for dinner with some guests. So. I won't be back in bed till about one o'clock. So for those who think life on the road is all rosy, it's not. Sometimes it's very hectic and hard, and but it's one of those things we have to do, you know? So what I will do is I'll check in later and um, let you know. A little quick look, look at me here, yeah. hotel room. There she is. Okay. okay, here we are. We're just about to start level one. So uh, we're all prepared and it will go into the classroom. Okay. Okay, don't you Right, can we have everyone to the front, please? Mm. So take up the seats at the front, please. There's one more to do one more. Yeah. 
For learning. For learning more. What are we trying to learn? What are we trying to achieve? Still in the place to learn once again. Still in the place. Be coaches. Interesting. Okay. So let's all be coaches. But why are you seeing me? What are you going to learn from me? ¿Por qué le estás viendo? ¿Qué es lo que quieres aprender de él? Bueno, ya saber, porque lo he dicho antes de todo, ¿no? ya que en el equipo de España no conozco el inglés, cómo se trabaja las categorías aquí desde el nivel, digamos, más, más bajo a nivel profesional, ¿Qué, qué es lo que ve con respecto a si el fútbol inglés está por encima del español o por debajo, todas esas cosas. ¿Do they want to know the difference between Spanish football and English football? Uh, and the level of which category you can go to. Okay, good. Okay, it's all about terminology. In today's game, we must understand different terminologies in football. English football, Spanish football, Italian football, American football, South American football. Us as coaches have to learn the terminology. In these days, we must learn how to work in football Spanish, English, a nivel internacional, pues para entenderlo, pues lo que quiere jugar los equipos y todo es muy importante. So, if you guys come to England to coach, you will know and experience some sort of terminology, so you can go straight in and you can start your coaching. Because if I do a Spanish te uh, technical drill in England, the English players will struggle with it. Why? Si vosotros vais a hacer fútbol en Inglaterra, va a, ser, va a ser diferente terminología y a lo mejor va a ser diferente entenderos y a la hora de negociar también. Igual que si viene al, al fútbol español, también tiene que conocer más o menos cómo se negocia el fútbol o... o... Vale, también ha preguntado que qué diferencia podéis encontrar o, o qué creéis que, que puede pasar si realizan un ejercicio, si yo hago un ejercicio, eh, realizo un ejercicio que se suele hacer aquí un ejercicio típicamente español, que lo lleven allí a, a realizarlo. Imaginaos que ponen una posesión, un partido reducido. Eh, ¿qué, creéis que, ¿Qué creéis que les pasaría a los jugadores ingleses? Si tendrían algún fallo, si se adaptarían al ejercicio o no. ¿Alguno? ¿Alguno que sepa contestar? ¿Qué creéis que puede pasar? Si metemos un ejercicio que solemos hacer aquí bastante los españoles para el juego español y se lo ponemos allí a, a un equipo inglés, ¿qué fallos pueden tener o qué beneficios? Bueno, yo creo que a lo mejor que depende un poco de equipo también. Eh, de equipos como el de Arsenal, a lo mejor que tiene más capacidad de tocar el balón. De hecho, el mal, pero tiene ese que te dice un equipo inglés en el fútbol. Yo a mí sí me gustaría preguntarle cuál es la filosofía del fútbol inglés hoy en día, es decir, si prima más el fútbol de toque o, 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 o es lo que quieren hacer, o prima más el fútbol, digamos, de, de, de transición, es decir, más de fuerza. So, for example, English football. English players are coached, we're very physical and fast, very high tempo. English game is very fast. Now the Spanish game is... Yeah, okay, just arrived in the city of Colombo today to uh, teach level one, level two, and some level three. Um, the English terminology in the football game. Just arrived, so we're in, gonna get prepared, get changed into our kits and um, go through paperwork and rehearse the speech and the, uh, the syllabus for the class. If you wanna take a look around. It's a fantastic place. And this is where the governor will be up and talking. 
So we deliver in a session here, then after we go outside to do practical. So I'll try and film a bit later, but um, the problem is for legal reasons we can't film the class while it's active. So um, I'll try and show an inside as much as I can. Hi guys, um, just really woke up this morning, um, feeling a bit tired now, um, really hard session last night, delivering level 1 and 2 to the Spanish students, um, what happened last night was we had quite a severe rainstorm come down, so we decided to do, instead of 2 hours theory, 2 hours practical, we decided to do 4 hours theory. Um, in this case as a coach, I always prepare four hours theory anyway, or four hours practical, just in case something comes up or happens like last night. So, because we had to stay in a classroom for an extra two hours, if I didn't have a plan B prepared, then I would have been stuck. So, it's good to have prepared for the four hours. And the same vice versa in practical. I've had it here before, we have turned up to the classroom, there's been a fire alarm, we've been evacuated. We've had to go straight to the practical. It's never been a problem. Um, late night last night, so as you can see, boxer standard me, front of the side, half a glass of wine, so I don't really drink, but I find half a glass relaxes me and my brain because I'm still running over things through the evening. Um, standard, bed with the iPad, keeping in contact with the world while I'm here and keeping things moving on, developing. Um, I'm just about to go down to have some breakfast which is nice, so, and it looks like another nice day in Madrid, so I will catch you a bit later. Um, missing my kids, loads, but um, I know I'm developing that here and they'll be out here soon to work with me and spend time with me, so I love you kids, all right? See you soon. Okay, it's my favourite part of the day, breakfast. It's 8am uh, Spanish time. So what I'm going to do now, because I'm going training in about an hour and a half, I'll have a good nutritional breakfast um, to not play on it, so to help me perform during the gym. So let's have a look at what we're eating. We've got some scrambled egg and some fruit. I've stuck melon. Fresh orange juice, some nice Yemen and queso. Some croissants, Dino, leave the donuts. <laughs> and we have some cereal. So let's have a nice breakfast, ready for the gym and spa today. It's important that you help recover during the day and relax my mind and body so um, I can give it all tonight in the sessions and uh, see you in a minute. 